we all have experienced difficulties in life. There is no doubt about that. And some of us have turned to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by means of supplications and dua and others became despondent and depressed and they started even complaining about uh, Allah's trials that he had tested them with. I always teach my students to get themselves busy with the things that they are in control instead of complaining unnecessarily with things that they will never be able to to change or to bring about some positive results or a positive outcome. When we are in difficulties, when we are experiencing some calamities, we should sit, relax and think about what can we do to change this situation in our favor instead of complaining and crying over our condition. Because uh, be careful, my brothers and sisters, Islam complaining could mean that you are not happy with the destiny, with the qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is an area and a category of the disbelievers, billah, those who lose hope in the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so be extra vigilant and extra careful not to complain when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put you into these situations of difficulties and trials. When we look at the story of Yunus alayhi salam and how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded him to call people to the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and how those people have responded negatively to his call so he became a bit angry and, and tired of calling them to Islam and tired of their rejection then he left them. He left his people and and went away from them, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rebuked that action in the Quran. Allah said, And then noon, this is the title of Yunus alayhi salam, when he went out uh, a bit angry at the reaction of his people, and he thought for a moment that we are incapable, from rebuking him or from getting in control of his entire situation or in his entire life. And then as we know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will test Yunus alayhi salam, a whale in the sea will come and actually swallow him whole. And he will remain in this darkness, the darkness of the belly of the whale, the darkness of the sea and the darkness of the night. But then look at the attitude of Yunus alayhi salam. He never complained. He never said that I'm a prophet. You've selected me for this job and I went as you have commanded me. I did not disobey you. Why, why am I being punished and so on and so forth? He never complained. Instead, فَنَادَى فِي الظُّلُمَاتِ أَنْ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا أَنْتَ سُبْحَانَكَ he called upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This should be the attitude of the believers when they are tested, when they are in that situation of difficulty, to call upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. La ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntu min al -zalimin. La ilaha illa ant. There is no God worthy of worship except you, ya Allah. Subhanak, glory be to you. Inni kuntu min al -zalimin. Indeed, I was among the wrongdoers. I made a mistake. Acknowledgement of our weakness. This is what we need to do whenever we are in that situation. Subhanallah. What was the reaction? What was the response from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? فَاسْتَجَبْنَا لَهُ وَنَجَّيْنَاهُ مِنَ الْغَمِّ وَكَذَلِكَ نُنْجِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ Then we responded to him and we lifted this calamity away from him. We removed this calamity from him. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made at the end a beautiful statement. And this is the way how we save the believers. This is the way. This is the method. My brothers and sisters, learn this. لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين with full conviction again. Acknowledgement that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the only deity to be worshipped. Praising him, glorifying his name, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and acknowledgement of our weakness and our errors and our mistakes to humble ourselves enough to acknowledge and agree that we have erred and we deserve what we've been tested with. That is the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَكَذَلِكَ نُنْجِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ This has been always the way of saving the believers. And this will be always the way of saving the believers. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us all and save us from all the difficulties of this dunya and all the calamities that are surrounding us. Ameen, ameen, ameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.